Our journey to space camp began at 4.30 a.m. We said goodbye to our family, boarded on our charter bus, and left for Alabama. We crossed three major rivers, the Arkansas, Mississippi, and Tennessee, on our way to Huntsville, the home of the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, and our final destination, Space Camp. We knew we had a ride when we saw the 363 feet tall Saturn V replica towering ab above the horizon to welcome us to our new home for the next three days. As we pulled into space camp, our crew trainer greeted us as we were welcomed inside to check in and find out which team we were on. Our groups were split into four teams, Sirius, Alpha Centauri, Octaurus, and Vega, which are all names of constellations. We had a brief orientation and then we all went our separate ways as teams to learn from our space camp crew trainers. Our first official stop was the Mars Rock Climbing Wall that simulated what it would be like to scale the Milky Way's tallest volcano, Olympic Mars. Next, we wrote the Hypership Motion Base Simulator that made us feel like we were flying above the Earth with the Red Baron. Then we got to be rocket scientists and build and design our own rockets. Then we launched the next day. Some of our rockets landed safely back on the ground, but many of them became part of the Rocket Hall of Fame in the trees across the road. Then we went to the Intuitive Planet Planetarium and watched the movie Explorer that told the adventurous journey of humankind from ancient Mesopotamia to the age of space exploration. On day two after we ate breakfast, we had a chance to explore the Museum of the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. left the museum, we got to ride the moonshot, which simulates what a rocket launch is like. You go 140 feet straight up in 2.5 seconds with 4 Gs of force on launch and 2, two to 3 seconds of weightlessness out of your seat and then a 1 G free fall. It was so much fun. We went right next door and rode the G-Force Accelerator where we got to experience three Gs pushing on our bodies. Next, we conducted our simulated space mission. Our crew made up of our teammates had to successfully dock with the International Space Station and return home safely. We accomplished our mission but just barely. After our mission was com complete, we got to tour a replica of the International Space Station. Next, we practiced on the 5D F or 5 Degrees of Freedom simulator. This simulator helps astronauts learn how to work in a, in a frictionless but tethered space environment. Then we got to experience the MAT, multi axis Trainer, which simulates the disorientation one would feel in case of a tumble spin during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. 
This simulator helped Mercury astronauts learn how to regain control of their spacecrafts if they were to have a tumble spin. Our final task of the day was to create our mission patch. Our team worked together to design a patch that represented us and our mission. During our third and final day, we toured the museum again and the exhibit Apollo when we went to the moon. This year marks the 50th anniversary of when man first stepped foot on the moon. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out. Godspeed, John Glenn. Of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Eagle Houston, we rig you now. Your go for PDI. Over. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Yeah. Man, this is a fun ride. New possibilities are opening up for fruitful development of scientific cooperation between countries and the peoples in the interest of peace and progress of all humanity. After exploring the museum, we got ready for our graduation. We all received team photos and certificate congratulating us on completing our mission of becoming a Pathfinder graduate. We also learned that two of our teams won special honors. Team Altaurus won Most Outstanding Team at Space Camp, and Team Sirius won the designation as the smartest for team for winning team. trivia night. The Outstanding Team Award is given to a team in each program that shows outstanding team spirit and thirst for knowledge. They work well together, have built a strong team identity, and strive to be positive role models to others, both inside their team and outside of it. They are also often the team you hear before you see, but always in a good way. This week's outstanding team is, drum roll, Team Arcturus. Arcturus! rights. So we promised last night that we would announce the winner of Trivia Night at graduation. Well, we are now at graduation. So while there is not a formal award for trivia, other than, like I said, bragging rights and the knowledge that your team is the smartest, <laughs> I would ask if I announce your team, please stand up where you are and take a well-deserved bow. So, Team Sirius, please stand up. Alright, on the count of three, we're going to take a bow. Ready, one. Two, three. After graduation, we loaded our bus and headed home. Thank, Thank you, Miss Cook, for organizing this and all the other chaperones for making this trip be one that we will always remember.